guys, it's Sarah. Who likes my shirt? Can you even see this? I know, it screams lonely, gay, Tumblr. <laughs> but you know what? Hashtag non-spawns because I've had this shirt for like four years and surprisingly it still fits. Anyway, hey guys, I don't know what's up with my lighting today. I feel like it's way too bright and I don't know how to fix it, so hey, you'll just have to deal with it. I'm already too pale and this light is just making it worse. <laughs> anyway guys, today is supposed to be just a short video. Don't know if it will be short. But if I want it to be short, let's just get on with the video. Here's the latest news that's been happening in the past couple days. this topic first because I feel like it's the most important. I know most people leave the most important to last, but I'm making it first. Anyway, this concert was iconic. I know Louis Tomlinson's first performance of Just Hold On was iconic, but this is like right up with that, maybe a little bit more. I mean, for obvious reasons. Just the fact that everybody got together just for the sole purpose of spreading love and peace and unity, like, that's beautiful. So basically, at this tribute concert, there was a lot of pop stars there, well-known like Coldplay, Katy Perry, etc. And also, Niall Horan. So basically, here are some pictures of Niall on stage with his little cowboy hat, or fedora. And also some pictures of him with Katy Perry. And I don't know why people are making fun of Katy Perry's new look. Um, in my opinion, she rocks it. You slay, Katie Cat. Anyway, so after Niall performed, he did a great job. He sent out a few tweets. So he says, first of all, thank you, Manchester. What an incredible city to pull together like that. Show no fear and just have a great night. The atmosphere in that stadium was just amazing all night, start to finish. Secondly, thank you, Ariana Grande, for putting that show together in just a few days. All week, you have been incredible. And as a friend, I'm so proud of you, my love. Amazing person. I won't be forgetting that night ever. So happy that I was given the opportunity to be involved in what was a fantastic night. Uh, oh my god, I am living for that. Like, Niall didn't just tweet once, not twice, he tweeted five times. This also says, confirmed all the performers performing tonight will come out together to sing one last time in honor of the victims. And then lastly, this says, just in, the British Red Cross has raised over nine million dollars through One Love Manchester benefit concert. That is amazing. Like, actually guys, no words. Nine million dollars dollars because of that tribute concert. You know what I love? I love when celebrities or just anybody in general just shows their strength, just shows that they're above all of the chaos that's going on in the world. Like, they're beating hate and I love that. Like, Ariana Grande, she was so sad before. She thought it was her fault. She was giving up. But now she held this concert and she slayed on stage and she looked so much happier. I could say a lot more about this, but I'm just like really happy. This is so great. Such a great message. And I'm really just happy for everybody showing up and everybody who performed. And like Niall said, just a great atmosphere. Okay guys, right now I am giving you a trigger warning. I have to give a trigger warning, okay? I don't want you guys to be triggered by the following images, the following clips. So if you guys are triggered or affected by Harry Styles with children, then I suggest you either click off the video or fast forward about a minute. Maybe till the end of the video. I don't know how long I'm gonna be talking about this. So, you are warned. Okay. Did you guys survive? Are you guys still here? <laughs> like, did you guys survive that montage of clips with just Harry looking great at the wedding and Harry with that little girl, like, mm, like, daddy as fuck and dad as fuck. Like guys, this is another topic I just can't put into words I can't explain because it's just so cute and 
I can't. I don't know how many times in my life I have said I can't, but I just literally can't. I am in my coffin. And guys, just to kill you even more, this says, my friend's friend went to the wedding Harry was at in Hawaii, and Harry spent the weekend playing with her daughter. Listen, I don't know if this is real, but I don't care because it sounds believable. Doesn't sound fake to me. I mean, it sounds so believable. I can see Harry just chilling out and playing with a little kid the entire weekend. I am deceased. But guys, I just can't stop looking at these pictures of Harry. The fact that Harry can go from gray t-shirt, blue shorts to a freaking white suit. I don't know which one he wore first. And you know what? I don't care. The fact that he can just transition into like these different outfits, these different phases. It's almost like not the same person. <laughs> like he has different personalities personalities. Like, he goes from, like, a snapback, like, fuckboy type to, like, an actual Gucci, Tumblr, aesthetic, model type person. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, Harry will never be a fuckboy in my eyes. I'm just saying. Actually, even if Harry was a fuckboy, he'd be the only fuckboy I'd accept. And just the fact that Harry can pull off wearing a snapback and Gucci sunglasses and holding a pink phone at the same time, like, he's, like, mismatching things and it's great. I just can't believe he still has that pink phone case. I'm living for it. And a lot a lot of people are also speculating that the shorts that Harry is wearing was the sh same shorts that Louis tweeted about like a month or two ago. So I think we all remember this tweet. Louis said too sick and it's a person with a green shirt, another person with blue shorts, and oh my god, blue and green. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell if it's the same blue shorts. Maybe they just look similar. Not sure if it's the same shorts. If it is, holy fuck. But I mean, we can only dream. Also guys, speaking of Harry, he will be on the Late Late Show on Thursday, but it will not be live, so he won't actually be in the studio on Thursday. It's pre-recorded, and my mic almost fell over. <laughs> so yeah, Harry already performed on the Late Late Show, but we'll be seeing it Thursday. Tell me down below, what song do you think Harry's gonna perform, or do you already know what song he's gonna perform? Because I have no freaking idea. He hasn't performed Sweet Creature on the Late Late Show yet, so hopefully he performs that. Actually, no, I need him to perform Two Ghosts again. I need that acoustic version. I need a part two. I need like a 2.0. I don't care that he's already performed it. That song is iconic. But you know, that's just me. And yes, I saved this topic for last because it's Louis freaking Tomlinson. And I feel like Louis is sometimes very underappreciated and I don't know why. <laughs> so basically guys, we got very big news from Louis yesterday via tweet. And he basically confirmed that he has a whole entire album coming out. And guys, I don't even know, like, <laughs> my ears are going to be blessed. Like guys, when I heard that Louis was coming out with one single with only his voice on it, I was already in my coffin. But just the fact that we're gonna get a whole album of just Louis's voice. Physically, I'm fine, but emotionally, I'm bruised. So Louis says, got another song back that I've written the other day. Can't wait for you guys to hear. Album coming along nicely. Album coming along nicely. Album. 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 Yeah, my family does not give a fuck. And guys, not only was I affected by this, obviously, everybody else was, because LT1 is coming was trending number three. It could have been trending number one, I have no idea, but I just thought trending number three should have been trending trending number one, to be honest. I want to know what the name of Louis Tomlinson's album is going to be. He should just name it, like, Coming Out, because it's like a double entendre. <laughs> I mean, like, why not? That's creative, right? But also, guys, look at this. So Louis tweeted that on June 5th, 2017. Well, 5 plus 6 plus 17 equals 28. I think you mark this day on your calendar, so please drop something and bless us. And we joked about him releasing something today because it would add up to 28. Okay, guys, I know to you this is probably reaching, and it's probably just a coincidence. But how come everything that seems to happen in this fandom, it all adds up to 28? Like, what are the chances that Louis tweets on this day and, like, the numbers add up to 28? Like, why 28? Why is everything always 28? Like, are we just looking for it? Or is this intentional? Like, I really don't know, guys. I mean, the math is correct. I'm bad at math, but yeah, it equals 28. So, I mean, A+. Plus. I mean, look, if I had a say in this, I would say that Louis did this intentionally. Because Louis is secretly Larry as fuck. And speaking of Louis's music video, this post says, Aside from the fact that BB is a wonderful person, bisexual, and a really talented writer, I'm so excited for Louis to duet with her because we've never heard him sing with a woman before, and I think their voices are going to be really suited to each other. The song will be really gay and they'll sound incredible. Oh my god, imagine if there was like a subtle gay theme in it. But knowing BB and Louis, I doubt 
doubt it would be subtle. And guys, oh my god, I know I already said this on Twitter, but just the fact that we just got Harry with little kids and we know that Louis is working with little kids in the music video, like, they're both really good with little kids, like, oh my god. They need to just adopt, have all the kids in the world, and just be parents right now. I don't even know what I just said, but hopefully it made sense. Anyway, guys, that is all the news for today. Hopefully you had feels. And, you know, just tell me down below if you can't, because <laughs> I can't. But anyway, I make a video whenever I want, so like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. What should they do, Harry? They should um, subscribe, click on the... Just say subscribe, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel. Okay, wait, hang on. Well, so what should they do, Harry? They should subscribe to this channel. There you go. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon.